Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Praetorian, and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4. All right, guys, so we're going to be starting a new campaign here. This will be our seventh Hearts of Iron 4 campaign on the channel here. If you haven't checked out some of those old campaigns, consider doing so. A lot of them uh, were quite a bit of fun. I enjoyed, I especially enjoyed the last one that we did with Australia. Uh, so yeah, this, this uh, Hearts of Iron 4 was selected to be played again in the last vote, where we voted for which strategy game we're going to be playing. I did want to go, just briefly, go over the results of that vote. Um, so 76% of the vote went to Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, I'm not surprised that Hearts of Iron won again, but I am surprised just how much of the vote they got. Uh, and maybe that's because people don't want to vote for other things because they wanted to make sure they could vote for the mod they expected Hearts of Iron to win. I don't know. Maybe I need to do that a little bit differently the next time, have the uh, mod be a different vote. I don't know. Uh, we'll see when we get there. But yeah, 76% of the vote. Uh, another really surprising thing was that Total War Warhammer got 13% of the vote. They were second place. Uh, was not expecting that. I was definitely expecting Civ 6 to come in second place, uh, but he got 9% of the vote. Uh, and then, of course, Stellaris uh, carried the back with only 2% of the vote. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I did buy Total War Warhammer, by the way, guys. So I didn't have that yet. Um, so even though we're not going to be playing that, I do have that in case we ever do play it in the future. And that's because I bought it on the uh, the Humble Bundle, uh, the site. They have a monthly subscription. And if you uh, subscribe to that, you can get Warhammer until March 2nd. You can get Warhammer for free or technically you're paying 12 bucks for it but you can't beat that 12 dollars for warhammer it's on sale right now and it's still like 30 something dollars on steam so yeah if you're looking to get warhammer cheap uh consider doing it also on march 3rd uh the new games will be posted for you know the march uh games so you'll be able to get a whole bunch more games and you can cancel any time like i probably will cancel it before uh the end of march because uh, i really just got it for the warhammer but yeah consider doing that uh and then as far as the mods go obviously the great war mod has won this is a world war one mod for hearts Round four as they stayed up here in the left corner uh so this is gonna be really exciting it's gonna be a different time period than what we're used to and i'm really looking forward to jump into it and i'm kind of glad this one's this one won this is what i was looking to win i really want to play this mod uh, uh second place uh, great war won 41 percent of the vote by the way uh second place with black ice uh 33 of vote and millennium dawn carried the back with 26 percent of the vote. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. Enough talking. Uh, this will be a longer episode, as I usually do uh, with the first episode. Uh, so, you know, the, the fact that we just spent three minutes uh, jabbering here without playing a game probably won't be that big of a deal. I did want to go over that survey, though. Uh, so let's go ahead and hop into the game. Uh, we're going to be playing a new game here starting from the 1910 uh, date. I don't know why anybody would want to start from 1914. Don't you want to build up your country the way you like? So I've already known for a while now who, who I was most likely going to be playing if we played this mod, uh, and that's going to be the Ottoman. Empire, guys. I'm really looking forward to playing to Turkey, uh, playing Turkey in uh, the the vanilla version of the game. Uh, but yeah, why not play the Ottomans uh, here in uh, the World War One mod? Because uh, they are one of the major powers, as you can see here. Uh, but they're one of the weaker major powers, so I think they're going to be they're going to provide quite a bit of a challenge, and I think it should be a lot of fun. Uh, just taking a look at the modifiers they have. They have one here, and that's faith in Allah, and that is going to increase their division organization, uh, and they're going to have less daily communism support. That's going to be decreasing uh, over. Overall. And that's the only modifier that we have here. Uh, we are authoritarian. Uh, that's our government type, which uh, they don't have fascism here. Or I think fascism can happen because you can keep playing this game. Uh, from what I understand, you can play the mod uh, into World War II after the World War One ends here. I don't know how balanced that will be. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go and play on regular difficulty because I've, I've spoke before my problems with uh, changing the difficulty here. It's, it's I don't like the way they do it. Uh, and we're going to go and tick up every one of the countries. Uh, we're just going to tick everybody up one. Uh, this is my first time playing the mod. Uh, woo. I'm going to have a strong Soviet Union here. Uh, this is my first time playing this mod. Uh, so it's not a complete blind through, playthrough because I have kind of messed around in it a little bit. You know, kind of, I eh, played a few months and stuff and, and looked at everything. Uh, so it's not completely blind, but at the same time, I've never played a full campaign here. So I don't want to tick them up too high uh, and get my ass handed to me. That wouldn't be smart. Okay, so everybody's going to be set up to one. It's going to be allies and friends because technically we don't even know who our allies and friends are going to be yet. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm not entirely sure what our overall goals are going to be, but I think we're going to go a little bit more historical route here uh, and definitely side with the central powers. I think it would be a little bit overpowered hopping onto the side of the Triple Entente uh, and, you know, hanging up on Austria, Hungary, and Germany. Uh, that wouldn't be a lot of fun. So we're not going to do that. Uh, we are probably going to join the central powers, though that we do have the option of starting our own, our own faction as well. That's always something uh, that we can do. So let's go ahead and uh, start picking some things. We're going to go ahead and get our tech first. Uh, and I like that they start you out with a little bit of experience uh, as well as some political power. So right from the get-go, you can go ahead and uh, start making some adjustments here. Strengthen Ottoman, 12.50%. Huh. Uh, so yeah, we're already getting a little political power growth. Uh, where is that from? Let me just check here. Because we only have that one. 
I'm not entirely sure where the strength in. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and get these, some tech selected. I, I already know we're going to be going engineering and industry as we usually do. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and get this one. Like I said, I did take a look at these. And the research time bonus, it's not a big bonus. They definitely decreased them. And that's probably because there's a lot more techs here. So they don't want it uh, getting to a point where research is too cheap. Uh, but I think we're going to get this. Make sure that all of our research from here on out is going to be cheaper. And there actually is another one, uh, tank research. Uh, as odd as it seems, it, it does decrease the research time for all of the techs, um, rather than, and it might explain that in here, uh, why they have that, but rather than just, uh, armor techs. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna grab that up too. Uh, so we'll get a nice 2% bonus, uh, for all of our, uh, research times. Uh, and then the other one's gonna be invested into probably production here, though I think construction speed might be the best for right now. Yeah, let's get the plus three construction speed so we can build a little bit quicker, guys. Uh, I'll go ahead and get our civilian factories. You know what? I wanna spend our, uh, Political power first. Uh, I already know what we're going to be getting. Political visor, if we have it. Silent workhorse. Yes, we do. Uh, silent work workhorse. Let's go ahead and grab him up. Uh, start getting a little bit more political power. Uh, yeah, 2.55 per day. That is uh, excellent. Uh, though, of course, once we select na national focus, it'll be 1.55. But that's not bad at all for starting out here. Uh, so let's go and get the national focus. Uh, I love that they have these unique national focus trees for pretty much all, of, not just the major countries, but even many of the minor trees. Uh, minor countries also have their own uh, unique national focus trees, which is really, really cool. So we have the, uh, the naval uh, branch over here, as you Usual. We have the industrial one and the uh, air one. Uh, we're not going to go down any of those just yet, uh, mainly because this one only increases infrastructure, and then you can't get any of these until uh, January 1st, 1911. Uh, though we would be pretty close to getting it after getting this one, we'd be almost there. There's a few other things I'd like to work on first. Now, this is our army branch here, um, where we have the choice of going down artillery or infantry equipment. Uh, and then, of course, we have our diplomatic one, which this is going to, uh, you know, influence uh, how the rest of the world looks at us. Uh, might be able to do a little bit of annexing through the national focus as well. Uh, a lot of cool stuff here, a little uh, unique branches, mutual branches that we can go down. Uh, and then, of, of course, we have this one down here on the side, which is the political one. Uh, whether you want, uh, basically, it's whether you want to contest the Young Turks uh, reforms or if you want to support them. Uh, supporting them uh, does increase the popularity of authoritarian. Uh, I don't know if that's just because your authoritarian government has done what people like uh, but if you start looking what it actually does down here uh, this is how you go towards you know uh, democracy I think I'm not sure uh, it looks like yeah you got free elections here uh, I don't know if it actually does okay it might not actually turn you towards democracy yeah change in popularity towards democratic 25% that's huge so yeah this would be how you go towards democracy uh, you could of course just avoid that branch and just go down this one uh, and then of course these ones here uh, I mean you get a really negative hit uh, damn it come on close uh, by taking the uh, contested Young Turk reforms. Uh, you lose 500 political power, guys, and uh, authoritarian is also going to decrease in popularity. However, uh, once you get that done, uh, that nasty national focus there, uh, there are some fantastic bonuses here, most importantly in recruitable population. We're seeing 5% uh, here. We're seeing uh, another 2% here, and I think there might be another one down here, division training time. Uh, and maybe that's it. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but yeah, there's some really excellent stuff down here once you take that initial national focus, uh, which is actually uh, really, really bad. And I think we're going to go ahead and do the political effort first. We're not going to hop down to these ones just yet. I just want that 120 political power. I think that'd be really useful to have early on. So we're going to grab that one up first. Uh, but then, like I said, I don't think we're going to continue down that branch. Uh, let's go and get our free our civilian factories uh, assigned over here. Um, one of the interesting things is, you know, this is World War One. So uh, I was wondering how they're going to simulate trench war uh, because obviously World War One, you know, the, the combat, the tactics uh, was a lot different than it was in World War II. Uh, so I was wondering how they're going to do it. It seems that their their answer in the mod is the this trench building here. Uh, you can build trenches, you know, in, in provinces that are a lot like forts. Um, I don't really know. It looks like it's a little bit cheaper uh, to build here, and, yet, and then it has its own uh, trench level in all of these, uh, which is interesting. It seems like it's just too much production, though. If, if I'm looking at this correctly, um, and let me just go in there. Uh, if I'm looking at this correctly, it seems like uh, it is almost expensive to get the, the trenches as it is to get the forts, which doesn't make a lot of sense. And what's the differences between them, then, other than the fact that you don't have land forts yet? Uh, so I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm not sure how well it's going to work, either. I guess we'll have to see. I thought that would be a little bit cheaper to build. Uh, but once again, we're not going to focus on that right now. That is not one of our concerns at all. Uh, we are going to build, I think, 
yeah, you know what we're going to do? The first thing we're going to go ahead and do is get some civilian factories going. Uh, we'll get them in some of the, the further away terrain here. Um, you know, over here, I suppose, is fine. Um, yeah, right there as well. I think maybe four will probably be good for now because we don't have a lot of civilian factories uh, from the get-go. Actually, three probably will be fine. Let's just do three for now. Uh, so that'll work for now. Let's go and take a look at our military factories here. Uh, we want to go ahead and get some infantry equipment, though... It seems that we are only building field artillery. Now, one thing about this game, uh, and I guess it would be better to look at this in the, the technology here, uh, artillery is split between regular artillery and heavy artillery. So light artillery, I suppose is what they'd call that. Uh, and yeah, that's that's an interesting change. And it seems like the heavy artillery is far better than the regular artillery in everything. Uh, absolutely everything when I was looking at it uh, that definitely did seem to be the case uh, It's just there's nothing better about the light artillery with one exception And that is it's way cheaper to build production wise you can see this also the light artillery only requires steel and wood Which wood is a new resource in the mod Well, the heavy artillery requires some more rare resources that you might not have in fact We don't actually have these resources uh, So I really want heavy artillery because it seems to be far far better uh, but of course the problem with that is that we don't have the resources uh, to build that um, so I don't think we're gonna be able to uh, get that right now uh, but I did want to go ahead and make an adjustment to use some of that army experience they, they kind of get it, give us right here from the get-go uh, and we're gonna go ahead and add some artillery uh, we're gonna add it over here uh, I think we're gonna add the light artillery even though I mean I really did want heavy we're just gonna do regular just because I don't think we're gonna have the resources and the production to be building heavy artillery right now maybe in the future as we get more resources we'll just have to see uh, let's just go ahead and save that that's gonna be all of our army experience really don't they, they also increase the the cost of of adjusting your your uh, division designs um, just notice that uh, so yeah let's go ahead and get uh, some points put into the artillery here because obviously we need quite a bit of it now uh, I think we're also gonna put into the infantry equipment as well we have two more factories left Left. Let's go and go support equipment uh, and as you can see we are not doing great on the resources here um, And horse-drawn vehicles do we need that? I don't, I don't think so uh, Let's go in and put into how are we doing on infantry equipment? What do they start us out with? We have 13 so pretty much nothing uh, Let's go ahead and put the last factory into infantry equipment then uh, we also have some dockyards as well We have five dockyards that we can uh, make use of uh, and I think we're going to we already have all the most recent um uh, ships that we can get at this moment just take a look at the, the naval tech as you see because it is quite a bit different and we're not gonna be able to research any new ships until 1914 but pretty much as everything is open to us we can start building cruisers we can start building destroyers uh, we can get the, the battle cruisers dreadnoughts I don't I don't really know exactly what we're gonna go for just yet because I don't really want to have a huge focus on the Navy uh, we are gonna need a Navy for certain uh, but I don't think we're gonna be able to compete with you know Italy and the United Kingdom and France uh, because Austria Hungary and Germany probably don't have much of a Navy uh, so I just don't think if we join the Central Powers uh, I don't think no matter how much we build up I don't think we're gonna be able to compete uh, when it comes to the Navy so I, I, I'm not gonna put a big focus on building this up just taking a look at the the ships that we currently have we have three light cruisers and 16 destroyers uh, really not a lot right now guys I think we're gonna focus on destroyers and the protected cruisers for right now uh, I just don't think we're gonna have the production for anything else uh, not at this moment anyway uh, and the resources most importantly steel is gonna be a serious issue for us uh, let's just go ahead yeah we'll go ahead and keep them going affinity here uh, and we're gonna have them uh, I guess deploy to Constantinople sure why not uh, let's put them there uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, protected cruiser twos as well them over here Constantinople and we'll go ahead and put two dockyards towards them uh, so yeah that, that we'll get those building maybe we want to go like this instead yeah I think we do uh, we'll go something we're gonna go and put them up onto the top as well uh, make sure that they're building uh, the quickest here and as you guys can see we need a lot of resources I don't think we're gonna be able to trade for all of them uh, there's just too many that we probably need I don't know though we need a lot of steel uh, 19 steel yeah that's that sucks uh, maybe just trade with the United States. They have so much of it. Uh, do we want to go ahead and trade for three here? Um, I think we're gonna have to yeah, let's go ahead and trade for three um, And then we're also going to trade for uh, I guess that's all all we need. Okay. That's not bad. Oh, we need aluminum, huh? I don't really want to trade for aluminum though. What is that gonna affect? What is it that needs aluminum that we uh, oh, okay? It looks like the support equipment um, I'm not I'm not gonna trade for that guys. Uh, nah, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it if we needed more uh, but just needing two it's just yeah this I, I don't see doing that okay so let's go ahead and get started I guess I guess that's everything that we needed to do um yeah uh, finally about like 15 minutes in or something like that uh, we can go ahead and get this game playing now I don't know how 
the performance is going to run on this. We're going to go and speed this up. Obviously, we are in pre-war periods. Um, we have an event here, their welcome event. Uh, but I don't know how the performance runs in this game uh, just yet. I haven't played enough to really say. Uh, but I know that there are some bugs. Obviously, we've seen quite a few. Uh, this is in beta, guys. Uh, so yeah, it is beta. There are going to be bugs, as you've seen, missing localization. Uh, there's other issues as well. So we can expect that. That it's not going to be the most stable thing. Uh, so yeah, we got the uh, Welcome to the Great War event. You are a veteran player of the Hearts of Iron Saga, and you want to experience a new challenge? We added new difficulties game. Pick one of these four options and see how good you are. Uh, Tinky Winky E A Ho. Uh, man power plus four. Okay, so this is easy. Um, not today. I've got Balls of Steel. Um, oh, wow. So that adds a lot of uh, negative stuff to us. Okay. Uh, what's the difference between that and the, dip the difficulties up on the, the base screen there? Uh, we're just going to do not today. Uh, we already increased the difficulties of our uh, enemy uh, AI here. Uh, and the other thing I did forget to do is we want to go ahead and select all of our units here, uh, and then we're gonna get them training up, guys. Uh, let's put them into a training army over here. Uh, we could probably also uh, start making some units as well. Uh, get them into the peasants as per usual, and they will be green, um, and then go ahead and set them to uh, exercise. All right, we're not gonna bother moving them. It looks like I did miss a few units as well. Let's go and get them all put in there. I'll make sure we have everybody. I think we have a total of, yeah, 44 divisions. So they're all in there uh, training up right now. It uh, looks like all of them are green. So that's gonna take quite a while to get these divisions trained up. Uh, but that's okay. That's gonna give us a whole lot of army experience, uh, which is fantastic. Okay, so let's go ahead and let the game play. Um, I guess while we wait here, we can kind of look at, not at factions, I don't look at factions. I wanted to look at uh, resources. Uh, the death of Edward VII. Edward VII's life and namesake era have drawn to a close. Though in a state of grief, the new King George V has received his coronation. Time will tell if he can solve the turbulent situation in Britain that he has inherited. George V is new king. Okay, oh so sad, the entire world will miss him. Uh, so yeah, just looking at our resources here, as you can see, we have a lot of wood. Uh, we got some chromium, chromium as well. Uh, some oil over here, not a lot, um, but not much steel. Uh, really lacking in the steel, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, we'll just have to learn to work with it. Uh, we got the Albanian Revolt here. Uh, so the Albanians refused to submit to the Turks. A new Albanian uprising began in Kosovo and the Northern Mountains. Ottoman government declared martial law and sent in a military expedition. Uh, so the Balkans are powder keg. That's expected. So what? What is? So where's the the revolt in Albania? I'm not really seeing. Maybe we just need to wait a second uh, for it to happen. I'm not entirely sure. Now we have the uh, Idrisid revolt. I'm probably pronouncing that all wrong. So Muhammad ibn Ali al Idrisi established the Idrisid Emirate of Assur in rebellion against our great Ottoman Empire. Assur starts a border war, and Yemen, and Yemen starts a border war. Okay, hold up. So are we at war right now? Um, let me just take a look here. I don't know. Um, like I said, this it looks like. Okay, here we go. Uh, we have the border wars. That's right. Like from uh, the the China. Um, the china events that are over here okay so yeah we have some issues uh over here we need to get troops over there uh is there any other areas that we need to get troops i'm just seeing that one location there uh so we probably want to go ahead and get some troops over there uh we don't have a lot though um and it's probably find them training over there as well uh let's go ahead and put whoever we have that's kind of close uh nobody's really close i want to leave those guys over there um i guess we'll move uh this division right here they can go on down there uh, and we should have access here. This is our puppet state, by the way. I don't think I looked at that. Uh, but yeah, they are our puppet state here, as you guys can see. Uh, and if we were to look at, uh, they're sitting at 500. Uh, we could reduce that and get them to an integrated puppet if we so desired. Uh, so let's go ahead and get these guys moving over to here. Um, I'm probably right there, I suppose. It might be quicker to have them go uh, by sea, actually. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, though they're not in a port yet. Okay, let's let's just get them over to the port real quick. That shouldn't take too long. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and, and move a few more divisions over there as well. I want to mainly move like reserve units over there. And this is one of the things that's coming in the new patch. When you click on a division, it's going to scroll to where they're at in your list of divisions here, uh, which is really really cool. Nice addition. Uh, it's gonna be helpful. Uh, I'm trying to see divisions here that are okay. This one will work. We'll bring them. Uh, we'll just bring them by railroad. It's fine. Uh, we'll bring them over here. And do we want to bring, we probably want to bring a lot more guys, now that I'm thinking about it. And maybe like one regular division might be nice as well. Um, let's go ahead and put these guys over into that port. And I suppose we can bring uh, some cav units. Yeah, let's get uh, two, now let's just get the two cav units. Are they in a port? Yes, I think they are. Uh, let's go ahead and get them going over there as well. 
Okay, excellent. Uh, so I don't know how many we're going to need over there to be able to win that border war. Uh, and we don't have any units building just yet. And we do have a lot of army experience. Maybe we want to build a few, although it's really not all that necessary because in fact that we're going to have to build these out a lot. They really are, the designs are, are pretty cr uh, cruddy right now. Uh, let's just get uh, maybe like, I don't know, five divisions, maybe 10 divisions. Let's get 10 divisions. Why not? Just make sure that we have a nice strong army in case anything happens. We really don't know what's going to end up happening here. And yeah, the, the the game is flying right now, guys. So yeah, it seems like the performance is pretty good. Uh, definitely comparable to Vanilla. Uh, that was something I was a little bit concerned about. It looks like South Africa independence. Okay, so South Africa has been granted independence. Uh, or not complete independence, I don't think. I'm sure they're probably a uh, dominion of some sort of the British Empire. Yeah, they're a puppet. Okay. All right, um, let's just see uh, if these guys have gotten over here just yet. Uh, we got some of them over here. Okay. Oh, we didn't move this one yet. That's right. I have him. I have two of them sitting in the port here. Uh, I don't know how many we're going to need, uh, so let's just put a bunch of them over there. Uh, why not? Um, and let's just take a look. Uh, military strength ratio is in our favor, and Albania insurrection has uh, popped up. Is this going to be a border war as well? I am not entirely sure. Uh, so the Albanians refuse to submit to the Turks. A new Albanian uprising began in Kosovo and the northern mountains. Ottoman government declared martial law and sent a military expedition. So of course, you know we're going to see uh, you know issues like this, guys. You know localization issues, uh, things missing here, and that's to be expected in a beta of a mod or a game or anything for that matter. So Albania is going to start a border war over here. Okay, so we do. Have a border war here. We already have a few uh, divisions here, so it's not too much of a problem. We're gonna go and move a few more on over here. Uh, let's put them into. I guess we we'll put them on over to here. Okay, excellent. Uh, so that should help us win that, and we already have 100% here. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what's supposed to happen here. Um, it looks like okay. Uh, we're yeah, we're doing good now. Okay, just make sure that we win these border wars here. Uh, and over here, how are we looking? 100% as well. Okay, so no problems. Uh, I don't really know uh, how, what's supposed to happen there. Uh, because they're supposed to be, you know, other divisions, right? Uh, enemy divisions, that's how it works in the China one. When you have the, the border war with the uh, Communist China, the People's Republic, uh, that does have, they do have units that they can pump into that area and then contend with you. Uh, but yeah, there's nobody really to put units here. Uh, so we did get our national focus, which was political effort. Uh, that did grant a bunch of political power here. We have 230. We're going to go ahead and make use of that. Uh, but let's first get our next national focus here. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to go for this just yet because obviously, yeah, there's some some severe negatives here. Uh, I don't want to go for it just yet. That And that, that population will be uh, tremendously helpful. But I think this is going to be a later thing for us, guys. Now, one of the things that is different about this mod, uh, guys, so I... I one of my goals here, one of my early goals, is going to be to attack and conquer Bulgaria. Uh, but taking a look at Bulgaria, let's say we want to justify war goal. Can't do it, guys. Need a world tension of 50%, even as uh, an authoritarian power. We are authoritarian here. However, we still need 50% uh, uh, world tension in order to justify war goals. So that's a very interesting change. Um, here in the, the, the mod, and I suppose it makes sense. They can't have you doing what you do in, in vanilla, where you, you usually do like two early wars to conquer small countries that have, you know, good resources or, or whatever. Uh, they can't have you doing that because it doesn't make a lot of sense for World War II. So, yeah, I think it's good that they did that. Um, but that does mean that we're not going to be able to declare war on anybody unless we make use of our national focuses. So if we want to declare war on Bulgaria, there actually is a war goal all the way down here. Uh, but as you see, all this really does is make everybody hate us uh, in order to get that Bulgarian war goal. So although I do want to get it early, I don't think we're going to get it this early, guys. I don't think it would be smart uh, just because we're not gaining anything from this. So and that kind of uh, is true here as well. There's a lot of stuff we're not really gaining from until we get, we can't even get this one, which is the, the best one in this branch. Uh, you can't even get it until 1913. So once again, not going to go down that that branch. Now this branch over here could actually get us new lands. Uh, we would be able to, we get a annex war goal against the Emirate of Najid, which if I'm pronouncing this wrong, which I probably am, uh, just state in the comments uh, respectfully <laughs> how to, how to uh, pronounce it, and I'll, I'll attempt to uh, be better at that because I'm terrible at pronunciation. All you guys who watch, watch my videos already kind of know that. Uh, but if we also will be able to annex them diplomatically. We also get improved diplomatic relations with Afghanistan, uh, and then we have a, a little choice here when it comes to Persia. So this one's a little bit more beneficial immediately without so many negatives here. Uh, but once again, uh, I don't think that the uh, diplomatic situation is what we should be focusing on 
immediately. What I kind of want to do is focus on industry. It's all, all about industry in the early game, guys. Really need to get that started, whether you're playing this or playing this mod or you're playing vanilla. Uh, so we want to go ahead and get the infrastructure so that we can get whatever one of these ones uh, we want as soon as we get to 1911. Because uh, obviously we're, we're not going to have that. 70 days from now will not be 1911. Uh, we'll work on something else until then. But I do want to make sure that we get that. And we do have a bit of political power here uh, that we can make use of. And I think we're going to go with the industrial concern. Uh, let's go ahead and reduce our, in our industry research time. I think that would be wise. Uh, go ahead and grab that up. It looks like we're, we still have 79 political power. So we should be getting the next one soon, especially as fast as we are earning it. 1.55 per day. That is excellent. Uh, and we got a bunch of stuff happening. So we have our research finished for the human powered train here, um, which was the, was that the tank one? I'm not entirely sure. No, 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 that was the industrial one. That's right. Uh, right here in construction. That is the construction speed. I'm just taking a look at this event here. We'll grab that uh, in a second here. Uh, Japan-Korea Annexation Treaty. So the Korean Empire, a Japanese puppet state since the assassination of Queen Min in 1895, has just signed a treaty with the Japanese government that resulted in full annexation. Though the Russian Empire and the United States are complaining about this measure, no official actions have been taken against Japan just yet. It seems that Korea's long le legacy will go out with nothing more than a whimper. So Japan now holds Korea. And I am going to read all these events, guys, which you can only skip past it if you want, because uh, that's the only way I get to read them, uh, or I get to see what's happening, and they, they took the time to create all these excellent events, um, and I love all the flavor, just fantastic. Uh, I think, uh, look at this, there are no more construction ones uh, for the rest of the game, am I seeing that right? Or for the rest of the, you know, until we get down to World War II, of course, uh, yeah, it seems like that is it, that's the construction speed right there. All right, well, that's good to know. Um, let's go ahead and go with, uh, I guess we're going to go with the production uh, next, production production efficiency cap. I think that'd be wise. I'll uh, we'll go ahead and grab that up, make sure that we can uh, produce as best as possible uh, with our equipment. Uh, and let me just see how these guys are doing on training and the border war as well. We should probably go ahead and take a look at that, though. I'm pretty sure there's there's no other uh, units here, so I don't think it's going to be an issue. I didn't know if it was going to spawn units here or what was going to be the deal there. Uh, but let me just take a look here. Uh, if anybody is finished training... Um, some of these guys are almost there. They're training quite quickly. Um, yeah, we're almost there. Let's go ahead and pull out everybody who is currently trained up here. So we're not, you know, uselessly training people and losing equipment that wouldn't be wise at all. Uh, and do we have any more that are almost there? We do have a few more. Okay, so we'll just have to keep paying attention to this. Make sure that nobody trains. Nobody trains when they shouldn't be. Uh, we got mechanical computing as well, so we'll be able to tech up a little bit faster. Uh, these are 1907 techs. I think we're going to go with... This is the 1910 tech. Uh, but, yeah, this the whole research tree is different. Uh, definitely kind of throwing me off a little bit here. Uh, but this will give us uh, tank and armor variants, recovery rate, and air support. Okay, I mean, that's excellent, though it's not the research time, which is what I would want to get. Encryption and decryption are also good, uh, too, but I don't think we're going to get any of these just yet. I think we're going to go ahead and start focusing more on industry now. I also want to get more oil, guys. This resource gain efficiency, that will help us with all of our resources, something we're having a lot of trouble with. We just don't have the resources needed. Uh, it looks like we're lacking some of oh, the, the aluminum. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, and let's just keep on paying attention to these guys. Uh, looks like we have one done here. Anybody else? No. Let's go and pull them out. Uh, and we're not really gaining a lot of, uh, even though we have like our entire army training up here, uh, we're gaining 0 .021 daily. Okay. Uh, I was expecting that to go up a little bit faster here, uh, but it's really not. I don't know if that's been reduced at all um, or if it's just my imagination that that's increasing really, really slow. It could very well be uh, my imagination though who knows uh, it just seems like we already uh, gone through quite a few months here and it hasn't really ticked up very fast and we have a lot of divisions currently training up right now and we do have some political power that we're going to get to spend here and I'm not entirely sure what we're going to go for next uh, I know that I do want to get the war industrialist eventually but we're not really focused on military factories yet so that wouldn't be the most beneficial thing to get at this moment uh, and I'm not sure what the other one we're going to get just yet probably Huh. You know what? You're probably going to get backroom backstabber. Get us more political power, which that would be something we'd want to get early on here, uh, but not this early on. 5% is just not a big enough increase. Uh, I would think instead, I want to get... Yeah, we're going to get army experience. I didn't know who we had here, but yeah, let's get the army experience. That'd be uh, tremendously useful because obviously we need to make a whole lot of adjustments to our divisions right now. Our divisions are extremely weak. Uh, and then we'll start moving probably down the research tree. I don't know though. Should we go after, you know, quicker research for equipment or... Should we work on getting our political power going a little bit quicker? I'm not entirely sure. Because uh, if we're going to get that guy, we want to get him early on. Uh, that's what would make the most sense. 
Uh, but we are getting a whole bunch of political power uh, from our national focuses, which is excellent. And speaking of national focuses, we just got the next one. Uh, yeah, we're still not anywhere near 1911, so we're not going to be able to get any of these just yet. But I'm glad that we have that, so now we can uh, go ahead and get those. So we're not going to research equipment just yet. Uh, obviously, we're working on industrial and electrical type of equipment and stuff, so we're not gonna we're not gonna work on this stuff just yet. Uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and move to Balkans politics. This gets you a hundred political power and most importantly, some uh, base national unity here, uh, which is something we're definitely gonna need in the war. Uh, I want to get that, and I know that I eventually want to go down this branch. Uh, let's just get this one first, uh, and then maybe we'll start working on one of the other ones. These all give a, a little bit of political power here. Let's go and grab that one first. And I think that would be useful. Uh, get that political power up, and we'll be able to research quicker and, and whatnot. Uh, there's a few other things that we could go for as well. Um, but until we get that, that uh, until we get to 1911, we're not gonna be able to do the industry, which is really what I want to work on right now. Let me just pause this here. Uh, looks like we can deploy our units here. I guess we didn't select the place for them to deploy. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and have them deploy to. Uh, really doesn't matter. I guess we'll have them all go to uh, Constantinople. I don't know where we're gonna do most of our fighting. Probably over here in Egypt. Once we jump into the main war, let's make sure that we're training them in a good location for infrastructure. Um, yeah, I think that would be smart. Let's see where our infrastructure is. So let me get the most supply over there. Uh, yeah. With the supply oh man we're gonna have some supply issues i guess we'll have them train up in constantinople we knew that that would have a kind of high infrastructure but i didn't plan initially on having them deploy there uh but it's fine you guys can go ahead and go here and then go ahead and uh, deploy these two that are ready here it looks like I deployed everybody okay well whatever um deployed more than i wanted to uh, what did I click? Whatever. Um, so yeah, they'll, they'll all be over here and that's absolutely fine. We're gonna go ahead and train them up. Uh, all these units that have deployed over to here. Uh, this one has already been trained up. Let's go and grab them. I think it's seven. Yeah, that's right. Let's go and throw them into the army and get them trained up as well. We have a few more divisions that can get pulled out here. Let's go and pull them all out. Uh, and yeah, like I said, Bulgaria is my main target right now. Uh, oh, all these guys are done. Man, we've had these guys training probably for a little bit. They didn't need to be. Okay, whatever. There's a waste of equipment. That sucks, but uh, we'll, we'll make do. Uh, but yeah, I think once the war starts, um, and Greece is another target. They got some really great resources. Uh, but when it comes to who we're fighting against, and I keep wanting to call them the Allies, and it's, and it's not the Allies anymore, the Triple Entente. Uh, once we uh, get into the real war and start fighting them, I think Egypt's going to be a big focus here to try to shut off the Suez Canal uh, so that the uh, British can't access that anymore. We do get research done, basic hand tools, and it looks like Portugal becomes a republic. Mirroring their former colony, Brazil, the Republicans of Portugal have cooed the monarchy. A string of blunders by the monarchy, mostly concerning the colonies and technological development provoked a very small band of rebels to come together, which quickly earned the support of nearly the entire military. Though the issues that the monarchy faced are unlikely to be easily solved anytime soon, at least the anger of the public is quenched for now. Okay, so yeah, it looks like Portugal is now a republic, democratic republic here. Uh, so yeah, we just got that research done. Let's go ahead and grab something else here. Uh, what do we want to get next? These are all 1910 techs. I didn't realize that. Uh, I guess we'll go with the prediction efficiency cap um, as well. This whole thing is just changed here. Oh, okay, this is what we're looking for, industry. Uh, kind of threw me off a different uh, picture here. Uh, let's go ahead and get that heavy industry one, get the factory output, uh, and max uh, factories uh, in the state can be increased as well. Let's make sure that the uh, we're still just lacking that aluminum, that's it. Uh, and we don't have a template for the support equipment or the horse-drawn vehicles. Do we not need any of those? Huh, yeah, I guess we don't. Uh, and so we should have a nice little stockpile of those. Uh, you know what, I think we might um, probably reduce. We'll keep these going, it's fine. It is absolutely fine. Let's get a little bit of a stockpile for the support equipment. I think that'd be wise. Uh, I would like to pull, um, I would like to pull one of these and eventually put it into the field actually. But I think it's fine for now. Let's let the, get, get a stockpile of that first. Although that is really what we're lacking right now. That's the, what needs the aluminum. Hmm. Maybe it would be smart. You know what? We are going to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and pull one of these since it's the aluminum that we're lacking. And we'll put it into the field artillery. I think that would be wise. Uh, so we got the early tank project that is going to uh, make us research a little bit faster. This is 1915, so can't go for this. And this does allow the research of additional tank technologies. Um, and maybe this allowed us to research tanks as well in addition to the research time. I'm not entirely sure. Eventually I would like to get radio. We're not going to get that just yet though. I really want to focus on industry. Um, let's get more resources. I think, you know, this is kind of a major problem for us uh, right now. So let's go and get more resources. We're going to really focus hardcore on that industry. And plus we do have the uh, modifier to that. So we research it a little bit quicker. Uh, let's just see. I'm sure there's units here that are done training. Or maybe there's not. I said I'm sure and I guess I was wrong. 
Okay. Um, you know what we can do as well? Uh, get these guys uh, at going straight into uh, our army here. Oh, no, we can't do that. Never mind. Never mind, because they don't have a garrison. Okay. I forgot about that. Uh, so, yeah, we still have these border wars going over here. Uh, I don't know if those end or what the deal is. And it looks like our... Huh. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. Yes, I completely forgot that it, this is a completely different state here. Uh, we need to get some units here. Yeah, that would probably be smart. Uh, let's go ahead and grab up. I guess we'll take one of these cavalry units, put them uh, over to here, and probably grab one of the infantry units as well. Uh, they come up over here onto that mountain. Uh, make sure that we're covering that region as well. Do we have that same issue over here? It looks like that is the case. Uh, make sure that we cover all of these regions. It looks like there's one state over here that is not being covered. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab up a cav unit as well as one of these infantry. Okay, uh, fantastic. Maybe that's why we weren't winning that. I don't know. Uh, I don't really know what's going to happen with it. I'm always, uh, whenever we have these events with these mods, I never know exactly what's going to happen with them, which is really, really exciting, you know, because you play vanilla so much and kind of kind of get used to what's going on. You're not really surprised by anything anymore, uh, which is uh, what's so fun about playing these mods. Uh, and I, I really wish I could have played them sooner, um, but, you know, we just had all kinds of stuff happening. And then the uh, when I was planning on playing a mod, we had the DLC come out, and then I was like, eh, we should probably play vanilla. Uh, so it looks like Mexico declared war on the Mexican opposition because we have a revolution in Mexico. I'm turning down the music just a little bit here. Uh, it might have been too loud. Ho hopefully uh, it wasn't, uh, you know, distracting. Uh, October 5th, 1910, Montero issued a letter from jail known as the Plan de San Luis Potosi with its main slogan, Sofrigo Efectivo, uh, No Reelection. Um, re-election, yeah. Uh, free suffrage and no re-election. It declared that the Diaz presidency illegal and called for revolt. Okay, so we have a revolution in Mexico right now. I also got our national focus uh, done as well. Uh, and yeah, we have this uh, revolution going on. Ah, God, I completely forgot about, yeah, some of the things that can happen with us being in that earlier date. That's really cool. I'm glad that they have so many events for it. Um, I'm just, I, like I was saying, it's unfortunate that it's taken me so long to get to playing this mod. Uh, so we still are not in 1911 yet, so we can't get any of the uh, industrial uh, national focus is just yet. Uh, so I think what we're going to work on, uh, I don't want to start on this stuff just yet here. I think we're going to go ahead and do it, the assert position in the Middle East here. Um, go ahead and get a little bit more political power. And it looks like we have political power to spend too. I didn't even see that. My bad. Might have had that for a little while now. Or oh, wait a minute. No, that national focus gave it. Okay, that's what why I didn't see it. Uh, I think what we're going to do, uh, I mean, we could get this, get that political power gain, get it going up a little bit quicker. Uh, we're going to have so much political power, guys. It's, we're not going to have any problems when it comes to that. Uh, we're not producing military factories, so we don't need that just yet. Um, and we're not researching uh, ships or, or tanks or planes for that matter, uh, I think what we'll probably end up going is for the infantry equipment uh, out of these. But once again, we're not researching, researching that either. Um, and yeah, none of these are going to be helpful until we go into war just yet. So I think we are going to go ahead and go with the political power gain. It's not a lot. I don't normally go for the backroom uh, backstabber. Uh, but because we don't really have that many options here, and yeah, I mean, we're eventually going to go for it. So might as well get it now early on so it helps us uh, the most. Uh, this is going to increase our political power to uh, gain per day to 1.65. Uh, that is really, really good quite impressed with that okay let me just take a look at this unit here see if anybody's uh, done training up here nope uh, all of them are really really close though uh, so we'll have all of our army units trained up and we didn't get a whole lot of army experience from it we could make an adjustment to our divisions though uh, maybe we want to go ahead and do that uh, just change them up a little bit maybe add another infantry division I think that would be wise uh, yeah let's go and go and add one more infantry uh, uh, battalion my bad to this division also want to get the support units as well um, probably want to get some engineer in there, but let's let's get these guys in there first. Uh, they're a little bit cheaper, um, and yeah, it's mainly manpower and such. So let's go ahead and add that. Um, that's me nine experience here, uh, and this is going to change up probably all of our divisions. All of our divisions are going to hop in here and, and need to get trained again. Uh, but we'll go ahead and let it sit, let them lose that experience first before we attempt to add them back into the units. Um, and yeah, that, I know that this is going to affect just about everybody that isn't a cavalry unit. Um, yeah, there's there are a lot of them right now. Actually, never mind. What am I talking about? There's only two. Huh. Oh, okay. They're the only ones that are trained up. These are all reserve. So let's just go ahead and grab these two up here. Uh, well, if we select them, I believe that's, yeah, it's going to pull them out. We're going to have to do this uh, like so. Because, um, yeah, we don't want any of these other guys going in there. And go ahead and throw them into the army to train up a little bit. 
All right, excellent. So yeah, all these units are gonna take a lot longer to tame up now. As you can see, tame up. I'm trying to tame them like this is Ark or something. <laughs> We're getting them tamed. Uh, so they'll be our friends. Uh, but yeah, to get their strength uh, back up because as you see, it is, uh, they're still waiting on a lot of stuff um, to get delivered here. Okay, guys, so I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. This is a good start. We made quite a bit of progress. We're sitting in the uh, 21st of December here, about to move into 1911. So I'm already having a lot of fun with this, guys. It's definitely a nice change, a nice change of pace, you know, starting in a new time period with all the new stuff here. And I've just heard so many good things about the mod uh, thus far, so definitely looking forward to playing this. Uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, then please leave a like. Uh, also, leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys in the comment section. Uh, I'll read every comment. I try to uh, reply to them all as well and also this is the first video so it does help with the search engine if we do have you know lots of likes and lots of comments and such uh, also if you haven't already done so then please consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy this video uh, so you don't miss any of our content as you you can continue watching and enjoying this series and uh thanks for watching guys